Guys, I'm gonna show you the real Hong Kong. And Hong Kong has a very efficient transportation system. Building to building. Welcome to Hong Kong in the 1960s. The restaurant, 747 Gallery. And this is the best vantage spot for spotting. What a beautiful sunset. It's the famous Temple Street Flea Market. Favorite street food in Hong Kong. Oh, this is my secondary school in Hong Kong. This is the place where my love of aviation has started. Great to be back in Hong Kong again, so happy. So this is our bus to go to the city, and Hong Kong has a very efficient transportation system. I love the double-decker bus. Let's go. also a bus fan. Um, before I like airplanes, I used to be massively like bus before I was flying on the planes and uh, always like to sit on row one, the first row on the double-decker. There's so many engineering feats in Hong Kong. The bridges are really amazing, long and you know sitting at the first row, front row of the bus is amazing. Got the best view on the bus here. Hong Kong's hotel room definitely on a small side. And now I'm gonna show you something. Be prepared for a shocker. This is Hong Kong. Building to building. I rarely sleep more than six hours these days. Um, I wake up and there's always a lot of things on my mind. Um, there's a lot of news happening every morning here. When I woke up um, yesterday, there was a Lion Air crash and uh, my blog editor visited the uh, first A220 Delta Airlines launch in Atlanta. He sent through some of the footage. I'm editing the video at the moment. I want to put all of these news content onto my blog. The idea is to have my blog as a, as a place to have all the latest news and video content. So at the moment, as you can see, I'm looking through the content and scraping through to cut them the, into presentable formats. Guys, welcome to Hong Kong in the 1960s. You know bus 23B, I know all of these buses. These are Hong Kong Island buses. 23B used to go to my house in mid-levels. 23, 43, go to Bok Fulam near Hong Kong University. So much good old memories. I saw the sign here, Western Street. That's where my school is. I'm gonna take you now to show you where I went to school. This is the school I attended in Hong Kong until I left for Australia. And this is one of the best schools in Hong Kong, King's College. You're Sam? Yeah, I'm Sam. Hi. 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 I watched your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. This is my old school, actually. I'm first time in the last 20 years I'm coming back, oh. seeing my old school, actually. It's really, really traveled back in time when I was yeah, a student yeah. here. Alright, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I have a right. German accent. Okay, bye. 
So this is the fig tree. This is the symbol of King's College. Uh, this tree doesn't have any flowers, but uh, over the years, it's still really tall. It's the school symbol here. Good morning. I'm gonna show you where the local breakfast in Hong Kong is like. Ah. You know what I just found? This is the new EVA Air Dreamliner. It's gonna fly from 1st of November between Hong Kong and Taipei. I really want to fly on this one. Hopefully I get it. This is the restaurant, 747 Gallery. Oh, are you surprised? Look at the seats here. Like, feels like a uh, really like an airplane kind of way dining. And look at these trolleys. This is as real as you can get for a restaurant. Tag and it's a place I haven't been for 20 years and this is I remember this is the regional road it's still here and now we're going to the tunnel and this tunnel crossed under the runway of Kai Tak. Now is a cruise terminal built on top of the runway so this was the old Kai Tak runway here and now it's actually a, a complex building with terminals for cruise liners. So now I am standing on top of the cruise terminal, which is actually building on top of the old Kai Tak runway. So this is all used to be the runway and um, now it's the cruise terminal. So now I'm going to check out the views over there. That's amazing, you know. We have flight radar 24 these days. We have all the app to tell you what kind of plane that is. Imagine the old days come out to spotting a Kai Tak. You wouldn't know what's coming in and out. You really need a binocular just to look around. Time has changed so much. The hobby, the passion is still the same. the end of the Kai Tak Airport runway 13 and this is the view behind very end of the old Kai Tak Airport runway 1331 there was one famous accident here one time there was a China Airlines five month old 747 400 literally brand new it you know it didn't make it and it really went over the runway overshot the runway way into the water I think this is for surveillance. I'm not 100% sure, but they do the search, rescuing, surveillance, collecting data, that kind of thing. Yeah. Pretty new, really. 99 to 2016. Mm. 17 years. Now, condition is very good here. Yeah. You know, Hong Kong's very hot, but the condition is very good so far. I kept. This is history here. The last flight landing in Kai Tak was. Chongqing on 5th July 1998, KA841, a Dragonair A320, 11.38 p.m. That's the last flight ever landed in Kai Tak. And the last flight ever took off from Kai Tak 
was Cafe Pacific 251 on the 6th of July 1998 at two minutes past midnight. Guess where they go to? London Heathrow. Boeing 747-400 went to London Heathrow. So this is 1925, the strip. I think, or it's a 1925, looks like it's a British Royal Airfield. In 1942, the Japanese occupation expanded like a small cross landing strip. 1958, you got the rail runway laid in. And 1975 was extended into Kowloon Bay. So, and it became what it was, Hakai Tech. So, interesting. Even I didn't know about this part of history, the location. So very good, very good information here. Here, I'm just thinking all the 747, all the Airbuses flying in and out of Kai Tak, banking down the airport. Hong Kong is a very special place. It shaped up my passion here. This airport was the best airport I've ever been because planes come in from the city banking over. You never found an airport like this again. Such a beautiful day today in Hong Kong, and this is the best vantage spot for spotting. And um, what an enjoyable day! Aviation is fantastic. Look at it, this is so fantastic. There's so many 747s still in Hong Kong. It's the funny thing about when you come to the airport, you see lots of same planes and you sometimes see very exciting some new airplanes so that one is a Cambodian airline A321 so you know what's great about aviation is you have great friends and company like my friend Eric we have the same hobby every time when we come to Hong Kong and you know, great company helped me out shooting airplanes together to enjoy the hobby together. Right behind me here, you can see the flyover bridge. That's the new bridge they just recently opened. That goes to Macau and Zhuhai in China. Today is a very happy day because I'm seeing my favorite 747, one after another, right behind. Happy days. Look at that. He just made a short taxiway, right?
900 is not 1000. There's only 10 days a year you get such clear weather really? without the haze. Yeah, yeah. Very lucky. Yeah, the weather is so great. Frankfurt should be the year. What a beautiful sunset, um, you know, it was coming down and it lasted about 10 minutes. Now the sun is just diving to below the horizon. Beautiful, beautiful sunset today in Hong Kong. So this is the famous Temple Street Flea Market. So I'm gonna actually take you to some really good street food places to eat. Favorite street food in Hong Kong. So some of the dim sum, this is Xiao Mai. When I grew up, I eat this when like 20 years ago, 30 years ago when they have this in Hong Kong. It still has it. It's great. It's original. So this is called a Gai Dan Zai. This is the Hong Kong waffle. And you got ice cream in the middle. You got original flavor, cheese flavor, matcha flavor, chocolate chip flavor, everything you like. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Go check out this channel. It's good. <laughs>